Yeah, we said it before the game and said it again at halftime that uh, cup matches you have to earn. Uh, you never get anything for free. And when we start pretty well but don't take advantage, uh, then, of course, uh, that gives them a little confidence in the game. Uh, our ability to still control games so that if the goal doesn't come early, can we still keep going and going and going without letting certain plays turn into dangerous situations? So they had a few counters where I thought our reactions still aren't aggressive as they should be and are a little bit slow, and that's where they start to cause a little trouble and get the first goal. Uh, but the mentality to keep going on a night where, uh, like I said, we had to work for it, and on a night where at times we were just unlucky, so some posts and that kind of thing. Uh, overall, I thought we played a lot of good football, so you, by now you know me. If, if I see a lot of good football, then I think that's positive. Uh, you advance in the cup, look forward to Portland on the 18th, and uh, now we go back to the league and should be a great game against Columbus. Uh, Bob, about the, the amount of running with the team, I mean, the whole team, but is that extraordinary, you think, from the, what, what the, cause it seems like Rossi had like a, a dead sprint 10, 12 times during the second half? Yeah, uh, I thought both Latif uh, and Diego up front made runs, kept going. When they were unlucky, it didn't stop them uh, on that end. So Diego uh, really pushed hard. And, and, you know, the thing I've mentioned in some other press conferences is uh, obviously he's such a talented guy, but trying to just push him a little more so that um, – that special Uruguayan mentality is uh, on display all the time. So, Bob, can you tell me what Benny was like in the dressing room at halftime and then how he was able to turn around? Because on, on the whole, things had a really good game, but obviously the penalty in this right before half, I'm sure he's not in the best of moods. Oh, by the time we come in at halftime, Benny's just saying the right things about what we need to do as a team. So there's nothing more. You know, if you. Uh, you know, to tell you how old school I am, I used to tell my son that uh, uh, the reason that Larry Bird always wanted to take the shot at the end of the game was because uh, he could deal with it if he missed. So if you want to step up and take penalties, then they're not all going to go in. And, uh, and as, a, as a coach, the last thing you want is a guy who takes a penalty, and if he doesn't score, then he's finished for the rest of the day, and that's not Benny. So at halftime, he was leading the group, saying the right things, um, and then look, he, he, he then finds another way to make the game 1-1. So in terms of uh, strong performance and, and great effort and leadership, uh, yes, I would agree. Benny had a really good game. Coach, second consecutive frenetic game for you guys, last second kind of victory. Is that just a statement about your mentality? What, what is, why are these games coming down to the wire like they have been? Uh, I do think that there's a good mentality and, and that we understand that sometimes at the end you got to keep playing your football and you got to keep pushing and you got to try when you lose the ball to win it back fast. And, uh, and so it's great to see that. Uh, obviously, to go with it, uh, I'd like to see us uh, control games more. But, uh, I mean, look, the ability to, to possess the ball, keep playing, make passes, create chances and control things when the ball turns over. And that is, that is one of the most difficult things to do in football. And so if you watch uh, Germany, Mexico, um, that was certainly where Mexico absolutely took them apart because Germany had the ball. Germany uh, couldn't get the balance in terms of guys going forward and the, and the tactical game plan, the tactical plan from uh, Juan Carlos and the Mexican team was very good. And so every time the ball turned over, uh, you know, Lozano, you talk about Diego for us and Latif. So Irving Lozano, back, forward, back, forward, you know, goal. So look, this is what you see in, in, the, in, in top players. And so it's great for our guys to see it happen in a match like that. And then, yeah, we, we showed actually a clip of, of the goal and, and where Irving Lozano came from. So we use that as a way to say to Diego or Latif or Aaron, or any of our guys, this is what football's like um, in the best games, and that's what we want to be. So. Coach, you mentioned the Germany-Mexico game. How did you see Carlos in that game? Oh, he was great. Yeah. So they gave him a, a role to uh, follow Cruz when balls turned over. He was fantastic taking balls on the run. 
finding the right passes. Um, he was fantastic. Bob, when you look at that, you mentioned that you show the Lozano goal. Are these things in the World Cup that you show your team to? Have you had a few examples? I show our guys so much football that <laughs> they, they, sometimes they think I'm crazy. But no, I show them. Yeah, we show them things always. You know, good teams, good players, things that we work on. Here's a, and 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 we we show things that we work on, and and we can say here's a top team, and and uh, and in this case, it's not done well. So you know, our ability to find different examples where we can learn and where we can improve. Uh, you know, I've always enjoyed doing that with with players and with teams, and you know, that's a big part of of what goes on with us. Coach, you speak about uh, the ability to control and close out games recently. Um, earlier in the season, you know, LA, Atlanta, obviously, that was a problem for the team, you know, not really. closing out. Uh, I just wanted to ask what you think the biggest difference is between the oh, early season Look, every game's different. I mean, quite honestly, I mean, I've talked, you know, enough about, uh, about Atlanta, but um, we started okay, we went down, and then from when it was 1 0 to when it was 2 0. Um, we kept playing, kept playing. We had a moment where we had the chance to step up and press when the ball went back to the goalkeeper. We were a little bit late. They made us pay, right? And then from that moment until the, the ridiculous VAR penalty, okay, I also thought we kept going. And then you've heard me say enough times, from 87 to 97, uh, we lost our minds. Uh, Joao threw his arm up on a, on a, when he's in the wall, got another card, got sent off, and then, you know, the game turned into a three-ring circus where we were responsible. So, you know, we, we, we spoke about that. We were pretty hard about that. Um, by and large, we, we've done a good job of keeping ourselves going in games where the concentration and the things we want to do are there. And then every now and then, if we... If we let something get away from us a little bit, I think I said that a little bit in Dallas. Um, okay, you can blame the heat, but but by and large, our attempt to keep trying to play our football. And, and, you know, to become a good team that plays football, that controls the game, that has ideas, that's fun to watch, that wins the ball back quick, that uh, isn't afraid to defend high up the field. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of big clubs in the world that spend a lot of money that don't come close to that. And so we're trying like hell to be that kind of team. And it's not always perfect. Uh, nobody knows that better than me. But, you know, I'm the first one when they all come in after the game to say there's still a lot of really good football tonight. And so that's positive. There's things, as always, that we're going to look at and work on. And we're on to the next round. And come Saturday, Open Cup gets put on the shelf for a little bit. And we play against a good team, Columbus. They play good football. They have a good idea what they're doing. Should be a good game. So that's exciting. Young guys got a chance to lead the Lions today. Uh, what do you think of their job up top, especially uh, Latif playing center forward and their ability to stretch the game and get behind? Uh, I thought Latif had a good game. Um, you know, at times, timing of his runs, sometimes he's off sides on plays where he shouldn't be. Uh, you know, I try to get him in certain moments to come off the line a little bit so he can see chances to go through. So there's things there that, that of course, need, need uh, work, but he put a lot into it. Um, I thought he made some really good decisions technically that he started to dribble and then he decided it wasn't the right time and he was able to shift down and make passes to the next guy. So, I mean, we, we created a few chances where when we got into the box instead of hitting a wild shot or, um, uh, you know, we, we, we were composed enough to make another pass in the box. And that's something that I also think good teams can do and that we're capable of doing more of. So I thought Latif um, did a good job with that. And, and that's also what happened on the fourth goal in San Jose. That, you know, when, when he and Lee worked the little combination on our left side, uh, when Latif started to cut inside, instead of hitting a wild shot or just putting his head down, he picked out uh, Joao and made a really good play. So those are examples of improvement that uh, that we love to see. Do you think he'll be playing to the center more often? Uh, you know, you have to 
see where we are with everything. You know, the Marcos Uranium will come back at some point from the World Cup. Uh, we're still moving on a deal forward. Uh, Diego can also play as a striker uh, in train as a number nine. Uh, so I, in training on different days, they all play there. And then we decide on the, on the night what's the best option.